This is one of my favorite Green Day songs, and it's for a very, very, very strange reason. Around this time when this album came out, I was just learning how to play bass. And I tried to play this one, or I tried to learn how to play this one, and I saw the tabs for it. Maybe it's because I was just learning, but I don't think I have ever been that confused looking at music. Like Flea, Primus, the list goes on and on. Feel thee from Corn. I got, I understood, but I, I looked at this song, the tab for this song. And I tried, and after about maybe maybe two days, three days, I should have kept going. I should have actually learned it. I was like, I have no clue. I don't understand the rhythm. I don't understand any of it. It's probably because I was just learning bass. I would imagine if I looked at it now, I'd be like, oh, okay, there it is. Plus, he uses a pick. I'm like 99% sure in this song. And that's why that and... Um, I mean, this whole album is great. I like, Nice Guys Finished Last, Good Riddance, obviously. Hold On, Misery. They're just... I don't know. They're songs I could listen to over and over and over and over again. Minority. By Green Day. Before I get going, be sure to subscribe. Helps me out so much. Patreon is in the description down below. New uploads every Sunday. Go. It's funny. The first two songs I learned on bass was Eye of the Tiger and Hitch and a Ride. I think I started learning Hitch and, uh, Hitch and a Ride by Green Day. Like, literally hours before I learned Eye of the Tiger. It's been a long time, but... Green Day is always going to hold that special place in my heart because of that. Okay, hold on. I I understand it now, I think, the bass. Kinda. Sorta. Yeah, I think I get it now. Maybe I'll try it again. But I remember looking at it, like, more than one time being like, what the hell? 
I don't get this. I definitely had to learn this on the drums. I used to do that a lot. If a new album came out from an artist that I liked, I would have to, like, it, if not all of it, the majority of it, I actually, uh, I actually got in a lot of trouble because when Take Off Your Pants and Jacket by Blink-182 came out, I skipped school because I had to learn how to play it. Oops. The sense of accomplishment I got when uh, I learned how to play the little drum part in the last verse. I love that it's very like marching band almost sounding and they reflect that in the official video it's very like what's that word it's a it's marching band but I think there's an actual term for it I don't know, but that's, I love that they got that. That song will give me goosebumps every time. And what I love about this album is out of all of them, well, I guess all of them up to this point, it was a type of Green Day we never really heard before. Like, okay, what's on this album? Hold on. Misery, Warning, Church on Sunday, Minority, 
Macy's Day Parade. I'm trying to go through the track listing in my head. It was unlike, it, it was a green day we never heard before. And I loved it. I still love it. I will always look back on this album and have nothing, nothing but love for this album. I will still put on this album at, at least, at least once a month. If not the whole album, definitely, definitely, um, I th I'm fairly certain it's called Misery, Church on Sunday, Macy's Day Parade. They're just, it's, it's almost like a time capsule. If not a general time capsule, a time capsule for me. Let's see? I just noticed I got a Green Day shirt on. Okay, I'm going to go listen to church on Sunday. For now, that's it. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again real soon. Later.